I have slept on it. I will accompany you for today. Remind me of your plan? Yes. Hmm. I'd like to know the plan. Whack a mole? I know of moles. What is whack? I am interested. Then let us go see the moles. see now our purpose is to hit the moles and then eat them hmm. moles are edible when X and I were on the streets we had no choice we ate them it was terrible hmm. are you all right Yes, when I was young. It was just X and I. It's a long story. Another time. My mouth didn't want to open, but my body ached. I never wished to harm another living being. Let's not speak of this further. really forget those times? No, it's not important to forget. Now it doesn't matter. Those memories can't hurt me anymore. These moles, they're not real. Can't hurt us either. Then I will hit them with you. If that is what you want, teach me. Do better next time. Increased heart rate. Hmm? Why might that be? I never imagined you to be afraid of seeing the doctor. Is that so? Perhaps now is a good time for fireworks? I heard they are a sight to see. Let us light them.
have seen these before. Can't remember clearly though. That's right. With my mother. And... Him. We watched a fireworks show. It was an otherwise nice day. Except for... Except for... Things were about to change. That's enough. I'm feeling a bit... Fatigued. May we... Sitting here, I do feel at peace. Yes, together, as I most prefer us. Others can complicate things. Our time together is something I have grown to cherish. It's something special. Am I mistaken? So, I'm not wrong. Hey y'all, having a little powwow? Guess you forgot to invite old Coop. <laughs> no worries, I'll just make myself comfortable. Say Doc, you're out and about quite a bit these days. Let's see, now, what were we talking about last time you came to pick up the milk until I was so rudely interrupted by a rutabaga too big for its britches. Not a good time, milkman. Come on, man. Anytime's a good time with your boy Coop. <laughs> for real, though. Y'all best not be skipping out on the wise words of your elders. I know for a fact you ain't like them other youngins. Turn and tail at first glance of yours truly. Plus, you're coming off a bit rude, if I may say so. Don't want to come off as an ingrate, do you? You only started talking last Tuesday. Now, where to- Filter and I, we're together now. Let's <laughs> go. Huh? What? What in the French fried peach on a cracker? No wonder y'all are looking like a couple of lady mantises, about ready to eat each other's faces off. I think I don't understand. Hot day. This here's quite a scoop. Y'all are lucky I'm such an upstanding citizen. Otherwise, I'd spill the beans to all them tabloids for a quick go. Well, don't mind me. No one will disturb us. Yes. Do you remember the book you gave me? The Eagle in the Valley. I read many stories with my mother. After she passed, that one is all I thought about. I was the eagle in the stormy valley, lost, alone, abandoned, on my own. Too weak to carry myself away from the clouds. When I could, I flew here. Clouds followed. I despaired. Cold. Always cold. Until... You. For the first time since then. I... I felt... Warmth. The clouds are still here. They will never leave. But now... I can feel the sun shining through. I don't feel cold. Not anymore. And I won't. As long as you are here. My friend. My truest friend. With who? There is only you. To fall in love. To start a family. 
No. I can't. For now, I am content. It's late. I must return. It was more than I expected. It was nice. Let's do this again. Soon.